got two more trailers I'm going to react to here, and it's for... <laughs> yep, it's a new Netflix movie called The Harder They Fall. And, um, uh, you know, given last year the pandemic, you know, Netflix helped supply us with streaming services like Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Prime, have supplied us with a lot of content. And that cannot be all, you know, and... Recently, they've been putting out a lot of good stuff, and this one I'm more I'm pretty excited for. I'm cautiously optimistic for it, but the harder they fall, because I think I noticed in the thumbnail, uh, Regina King, and I love Regina King. She's a very talented actress, also really good director. Uh, you know, I cannot recommend One Night in Miami enough. That was such a great film. Alright, so I'm looking at it here. Uh, the harder they fall... If I find it... Yeah, Wikipedia. Here it is. So, uh, I'm trying to know. Uh, so, like, you've got a pretty good cast in here. Like, I mean, Donathan Majors, Idris Elba, Zazie Beetz, Lakeith Stanfield, frickin' Delroy Lindo, count me in. And Regina King. And, uh, yeah. So, who's the director on this? James Samuel. Also known by stage name The Bullets. Huh. And he's gone on to direct. So, oh, this is his uh, directorial debut, essentially. But I did notice the film's uh, co-screenwriter. Oh, Jay-Z is also a producer on this. Sean Carter, a aka Jay Z. Yeah, Boz Yakin. Do I know that? Boz Yakin, who's um done a lot of movies. Um, let's see. Uh The Rookie, the nineteen ninety film from Clint Eastwood, not the one with Dennis Quaid. Let's see, Remember the Titans. Um you know, also wrote the script for uh Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Um Let's see, also co-wrote the screenplay for Now You See Me, the first good one. I don't know if Max is a good movie or not. I've heard some mixed things on it, though. Let me see what the Rotten Tomato says. 38. But, um... Yeah. But I'm excited altogether, and I'm into westerns regardless. I'm a huge western fan, so... Let's take a look at this trailer. The official teaser for The Heart of the Fall. Let's just start. Here I go. What the hell are you doing? I ain't nowhere to board a train, you damn stupid n- You might could have said nincompoop. We ain't no nincompoop. Here I come. Here I come. Open it. Wait, was that... Was that, uh... Open it. That wasn't... Who was that actor? Ugh. I know he was, uh... Gotta look up... Them up. Is that from Cochrane Actor? Ah, I thought for a second I noticed. Yeah, James Cromwell. I thought for a second I noticed James Cromwell here. It doesn't look like it's him. It looks almost like James Cromwell, in my opinion, but. Open it. Come on! I'm gonna play for you how our first tune. Called it is over. Let's start what we have come into the room to do. Right on. Here goes. You do know how to make a grand entrance. I know who you are. 
angel who hunts down those who trespass against him with no mercy. with the blam blams. Oh, okay. So, ultimately, only on Netflix. In select theaters and on Netflix coming soon. I checked this out in theaters. I think Westerns, like, uh, you know, for example, um, what was it? Um, I think it was, I can't, Magnificent Seven, uh, the version from, um, Antoine Fuqua, one of the better movie remakes I've seen in recent memory. I went to see that in theaters on the week it was opening, and it was an awesome theater experience, in my opinion, you know, I loved watching that movie in theaters, and, uh, you know, don't you just hate it when there's no date attached? Me too. This caught my attention more than Concrete Cowboy. Yeah. I might thank God this isn't another black. Oh, it's not a black suffering movie. It's a black cowboy movie. And I'm excited altogether. <laughs> but also, I hope it's rated R. Because I didn't notice uh, the way they're going for this. It's like it's no holds barred. Like uh, Django Unchained or uh, The Hateful Eight. Which are some of the best modern westerns. Let me see. Oops. Best modern westerns. Alright, so let's see which movies are considered some of the best modern westerns. Uh, no Country for Old Men, obviously. Brokeback Mountain. Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford. Underrated film. You should check it out. Django Unchained, amazing. The Revenant. Oh, the writer from uh, Chloe Zhao. Another great movie. I love that movie. Um, and The Hateful Eight. Um, uh, Sicario, although that's more of an action. I wouldn't. I don't know if I would consider Sicario a Western. Modern Western. All right, here it is from, uh, I think, Entertainment Weekly. Uh, the 25 greatest modern Westerns of the last 25 years. And this is from last year, so I'm going to look it up. The Western helped make... Yeah, essentially the Western is what got people... Uh, you know, is what got butts in seats, essentially. You know, plus... Yeah, uh, so let's see. I think this is going to be from the last 25 years, so like... And this was uploaded in uh, last year, so... Next slide. Um... Yeah, I'm very sorry for the lagging internet. Oh, Back to the Future Part 3. I mean, it's technically, it's a what? I don't know. I, I would consider it a Western. I Honestly, I enjoy uh, Part 3 more than Part 2. You know, but it's like, yeah. Well, it's more of their char the characters going to the Old West. Uh, all the Pretty Horses. I have heard, though, I haven't seen it, but I've heard, though, that, well, depending, I hear that an, a, a longer cut that was sadly ruined by Harvey Weinstein, because, yeah, all the pretty horses, um, I think The Horse Whisperer should be on this, I love The Horse Whisperer, too, it's a really great movie, also beautifully shot by Robert Richardson, that movie, uh, you see, the damn slide just went by faster. All right, all the pretty horses. Uh, oh, Bone Tomahawk. Uh, the Holmesman. That one's from Tom Lee Jones, right? What is number six? I don't know what six is. Uh, Dead Man. 
By oh, Jim Jarmusch. Okay. Oh, damn it. I hate it when these ads just keep showing up, but it's like, you, you, you can't do a gun. You can't do a damn thing about it. Continued on next slide. Ain't them body saints. Uh. Oh, Rango. That one's a good movie, too. Slow West. I've never heard of this movie. First I've heard of it. Uh, the Quick and the Dead. That one's a very underrated film. I love this movie. It's the most un one of the most unusual. Why I love Sam Raimi is that he doesn't is not just in the horror genre. He can do like dramas, like you know, a simple plan and for love of the game, and even a western. Weirdly enough, Quick and the Dead is also really stylishly well shot film. One of the best westerns I've seen. Appaloosa, very underrated. Uh, continued on next slide. Sorry about this. Open Range. Yes, this movie is so underrated. I love Open Range. Great movie. It's sad that uh, Kevin Costner has not directed anything else after Open Range. Open Range is so underrated. You know, The Proposition. Uh, Tombstone, obviously. Um, uh, Lone Star. Meek's Cut Off. The Three Burials of Malik of Melchiadas Estrada. Tommy Lee Jones, obviously. What are the top five, though? I want to see what the top five modern westerns are. Uh, uh, trending videos. Sorry. God damn it, I click on these ads and nothing happens. Alright, top eight. 310 to Yuma remake. One of the better movie remakes in recent memory. True Grit, another great remake that actually, in my opinion, is better than the original. I love the remake of True Grit. Uh, Dances with Wolves, obviously. Can you on next slide? Brokeback Mountain. The Assassination of Jesse James. By the Car Robert Ford. No Country for Old Men. Um, damn it, I clicked. All right, what's number two? Let's see what's number two. Dang it. Django Unchained and Unforgiven, obviously. But yeah, looks pretty good so far. Um, I do hope this is great. I mean, because last time uh, Idris Elba was in a Western, we got... Uh, what is that? I forgot the name of the movie now. The Dark Tower, which w had so much potential to be good, and it ultimately sucked. And it's not the movie's fault. It's not Idris Elba's fault. He was easily the best part of that movie. But, yeah. Let me see. Because, like, the book series I, I hear is pretty good, but the movie was sadly not. Yeah, and I think what ruined it was, I don't know if there was studio interference, filming and post-production. After poor initial test screenings, oh no, Sony contemplated that re replacing Arcel with a more, Nikolai Arcel with a more experienced filmmaker. Man, okay, release the RSL cut. Damn it. <sighs> yeah, I think this is right during... Now, Tom Rothman is in charge now of Sony, so this is what makes me scared. Because this movie had so much potential to be good, and it, it just wasn't, unfortunately. I really wanted to like it, though. Because the book series is really good. And Idris Elba as the leading man... Hell yes, I love Idris Elba. He's one of my favorite actors. You know, and I don't think you could have hired a better gunslinger than Idris Elba. But they sadly wasted this movie. They threw it under the damn ground. But hopefully uh, the harder they fall is nothing like that. So I'm going to leave a link to the original video down below, as well as a link to my Instagram page. 
I'm excited. Let me know what you all think. Thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified. That's beat everyone. Take care.